G'day guys, I'm Brody, this is Shal, and welcome back to another episode of The Life and Life. This episode we're so excited, we're heading to the famous Bullera Station for a couple of nights and then heading into Exmouth for a week, which we're so keen for, it's I'm been so on our keen. bucket list for years. We'll explore the national parks around the area and do a bit of fishing and Brody is frothing because... We've booked a big game fishing charter. <laughs> so we'll take you along with us, hopefully we can catch some big fish, show you. And there we go. This place is honestly epic. From the moment we rocked up yesterday, we were just in awe of everything. We got chauffeured to our campsite and everyone is just so lovely. And it's all about sort of a communal environment, just bringing everyone together. So they've got damper nights, Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays. We went to damper night last night. Had some free damper, it was absolutely delicious. They've got burger nights on Friday where you just sit around a campfire and wait for your burgers to be cooked. And today we are going to the fire around 2 p.m. because we have a guitarist playing some music. And the coolest part is their showers. They are literally made from buckets. The whole facilities around here for an outback station, they are just like amazing. Honestly, they're so clean and just so, so nice. And not to mention the coffee and their scones are just like next level. Do not have a bad thing to say about this station. It is honestly amazing. I think two nights here is just not enough. Like I could stay here for weeks on end and not get sick of it. They've got a lot of walking trails around the station you can do as well. So we're just gonna take it all in. We'll take some videos for you guys and show you around and just enjoy the rest of our time here. Have a look at this, we're just nearly at, at the end of this trail and we found a bowerbird nest just under this tree here and they drag all these colourful different things to attract their, their partners. Have a look at this. How cool is that shell? It's so cool, it's just like so random. Yeah, no one home at the moment, but maybe on the way back we might be able to spot one. They say this is a really good spot for watching the sunset on this bottle walk. And have a look, we're at the end now. Bloody oath would be having a having a frothy and watching the sun go down, but how's that? A few seats, table, and watching the sun go down straight over there. And if anyone's noticed, lowered the ears a bit, had a bit of a trim up. Charles has given me a bit of a makeover. How's that? Nothing spectacular. Free haircut. Bush cut. Bit of a bush cut, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. With the clippers by the, by the side of the ute. But what do you reckon? Come up all right, I think. How's this on the, on the way back from our little walk? We decided to go over and have a look at their, their paddock that they had a few little animals in. Supposedly they're unfriendly goats, but these goats have the best life. Have a look at this. Just chilling up on this, on the bonnet of the cruiser. Leg out. Bloody hell, got the life, tell ya. I'll get you a drink, love. One for me. Thank you. And one for you. There you go. I'll get you a straw. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's a bit of a bittersweet morning this morning. We're heading towards Exmouth, which is super exciting, but that does mean we have to leave Bulara, and we're so sad, honestly. And a bit of confirmation, it is pronounced Bulara, not Bulara. We've heard so many different pronunciations <laughs> of like everything, not even just Bulara, but like all over WA, so quite funny. But well, I wanted to say our uh, last night in Ballara, we had Terry Bennett's music come and play for us around the campfire. And like, honestly, it left me speechless. Like the vibe of everyone around the fire. Everyone's on holidays, everyone's relaxed. 
and it was like just so much fun like we had sing-alongs and there's a few tears with these beautiful songs and it was just like magical honestly yeah it was one of the best experiences that we've had um on our trip so far just Absolutely. chilling around the campfire having a few beers and listening to some really good music it was it was awesome it was really really cool so but anyway so it's sad to leave Ballara but we um managed to score one of their damper nights and live music so just one of the few things that Ballara actually offers of course we got scones again this morning but mm -hmm. you're too late we've already scoffed them yeah <laughs> <laughs> so plans are we'll head towards Exmouth this morning which is super exciting oh yeah can't oh, wait so I keen know. we are booked into the RAC for the week so hopefully we're not squashed in like sardines but yes yes probably gonna happen I know. but you know we're gonna get out and about probably not stay the, stay around there too much yeah. do a heap of fishing hopefully uh, go on that go on that chart I'm just dreaming about it <laughs> and yeah explore the national park so we're on the way to Exmouth now finish these coffees <laughs> we'll see you there Made it! Finally made it to X Mount. You! Yay! How exciting! Yes, we finally, finally made it. We're coming in now, and it's a fair bit bigger than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was like going to be like a small coastal town, but it's like a proper town. Just pulling in now to the X Mount RAC. Are we right? Can we just drive through? Yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, put the code in just in case. They've text the code. We don't even have to go to. The Talk to anyone in the office, how bloody good's that for service? Just <laughs> checking in. I don't really in. know what we're doing. Oh, so we got sent a map on um, just like a text message, so it's pretty pretty good service, I huh? say. So you don't have to go in and talk to people. Yes, it's good. It's, good. it's probably a COVID um, sort of thing, but you know. Yeah, so I don't know. We're in Whale Shark. Yeah, but Way. where are we now? We're site 154. Yeah, but where are we now, though? I don't know. On the map. You tell me. Oh my god. So that's the entrance. Where are we? One, what? One fifty-four. Oh well, we're way past it now. Oh, my goodness! We should have turned up that second. Anyway, we'll go for a real big explore, hey? So we did a very exciting thing, didn't we, Rhodes? We've been looking to do this for so long. Yes. We've had like so many people stuff us around, but. X mouth, what are they, affordable signs were on the money. Oh, it was awesome. Like we spent a week waiting for a, one of these <laughs> um, a while back and in the end couldn't come through with the goods. We literally rocked up at X mouth here today, gave Hans a, a call at affordable signs and boom, happened within half an hour. Oh, amazing. But have a look. We have were look like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you in suspense a little bit longer, but the color choice. I was a bit like weary at the start. I was like, oh, I don't know. Bros was like, nah, we're going with this. It's yep. gonna look good. And he's done that, haven't you? Yeah, it's a good. Have good. a look. We're happy. <laughs> It's like a sparkly silver, so it's pretty hard to see on the GoPro, but you might see it in real life if you're lucky. Yep, yeah, matches the car. And it does. It looks really good, goes it with does. everything. And if you see us on the road, now that you, we got these stickers, hit us up. Say good day. <laughs> come come say over hi. for a beer, yeah. say hello. Yeah, we'd love that. But yeah, they just like sparkle in the sun, like that's amazing. Mm, that's well a really good job. Brownie points to birds. I'll tell you what, can the day get any better? We just left. Hans at Affordable Signs in Exmouth and got a call as soon as I hopped in the car from Corey from Exmouth Fishing Adventures. Yes. And we're on for tomorrow. <laughs> so we are going fishing. Oh, baby. <laughs> so, exciting. so excited. So he's just going to give me a 
give me a call back in a minute just to he's working out a plan for what we're going for tomorrow he said the weather's looking the best all week and we're excited we are we don't know if we'll vlog a heap tomorrow but we'll definitely video it so you'll see it no matter what you just might not see us talking yeah we might have a bit on you know we might have our hands full but we're excited yes Woohoo! And we'll see you in the morning! Oh! Now we weren't kidding about how full our fridge is, or our freezer is with fish. We forgot to show you last night, but have a look at this. Oh, actually it's the, the top of the freezer. I'll just put you down over here and I'll show you. How is that? All Mackie, all through there. There's probably six or seven bags of maki. A good bag of spango. Have a look at that. Oh, baby. Taking up the, this whole thing. <laughs> and she's bloody heavy too, I tell you what. Anyway, that's us for a bloody a month or so, I reckon. How's this guys? We've gone to use this awning after all the corrugations and that in Mount Augustus and the awning has just crapped itself. Have a look at this. That bolt has just 
so it's come stripped out. The insides of all this have come undone and just jammed, so we can't get the th this bolt snapped as well, the one that's supposed to go on there, and has just come off. Because that's jammed, we can't push that down and put another bolt in there. Hey, broke the Aussie bush mechanic to the rescue. We have an awning. Yeah, bloody hell. The, um, that pivot point there, she's not in a good way, but we fixed it up. Just this flimsy aluminium stuff. Really probably should have got a proper, a proper freestanding one when this is like super heavy duty, but I don't know what happened. Just the corrugations and stuff. Yeah, bent it all and these these um, bolts here just come loose. And then the actual the in, insides of these was come out and jammed and when we opened it up, it literally just, this whole piece just fell apart. <laughs> but we got it back together and uh, just gotta keep an eye on it. it up. guys we thought we'd spend today exploring the Cape Range National Park and it is like bloody stunning. We're at Shot Hole Canyon we took the four drive track out just to the picnic area I think it was about 11 k's and um yeah we chucked the drone up got some footage so check it out. That a bloody awesome little drive. As we turned off the highway here, it has a sign that says four drives only. And we, like the road's just been redone and it was nice and flat and everything. And we are just like, geez, what, what's going on here? It doesn't look too bad. But then once you get into the into the gorge, it's, um, it's actually pretty hectic. But yeah, how was that? That was awesome. Driving through the gorges with the big bloody cliffs on either side. It was awesome as to see. You had little caves and everything to look at. And, going through the dry little river crossings. It's, yeah, it was really cool. But now we're heading on to Charles Knife Gorge, which is another probably 10 Ks out of Exmouth. And yeah, we'll see you there. Thank you. 
Bell's Knife board was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. Yes, yeah, had the obviously you'll see in the videos, but it's so good. Like we had a lot of rain last night, and there's actually running water through there, and it's it, well, it sounds a lot more than it is because it's echoing off the walls, and like you could just sit up there all day and listen to that and fall asleep. It's just bloody bliss, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Actually, it's just bliss. I think we're gonna end the. Uh, the vlog up here We've got exciting things to do over the other side so yeah. in, tomorrow we are booked into Yardy Creek for a couple of nights which is on the south side of the point um, which is on the Ningaloo Reef side so we've got a couple of nights there and then we go down to God's country we go down and we've got four nights at North Lefroy in the Ningaloo station and then two nights at Windabandy Point so bulk snorkeling snorkeling <laughs> bulk snorkeling so bulk snorkeling bulk fishing and it's just going to be a bloody awesome time, I reckon. If you're heading to Exmouth, the REC is a really good place to base yourself. We stayed there for the week. And it yep. wasn't actually that expensive, like, for a resort sort of caravan park. Really good um, facilities. Awesome. It's got two big, massive pools. Um, yeah, really good amenities blocks and um, all that sort of stuff. And it's, yeah, awesome spot to base yourself. So, like, directly across the main road, which is out the front of the park, you've got a like a car wash, you've got uh, a, fuel, a fuel station and a laundry, but then you've got like Tackle World, you've got a caravan place, uh, caravan maintenance place, and then the other oh, side of the park. Brewery. Oh, and the brewery. As well, it's walking distance to Wellbone Brewery. Yes, it's only like 600 metres to Wellbone Brewery, and it is bloody awesome. And then on the other side of the park, which is like out the front, you've got the big massive visitor centre. So the visitor centre has like an aquarium in it. It's got like a little museum. And then you can also book all your tours at that visitor center too for like your whale sharks and your fishing charters and all that sort of stuff too. So yeah, um, yeah really good spot to base yourself. We'd uh, definitely recommend uh, parking up there for a few days if you're coming this way. And also if you're looking for good coffee in Exmouth, head on over to Mutt's. It's probably like 200 meters from the caravan park as well. So. Oh yeah, that's and another place that's literally right yeah. next to the caravan park as well. Yeah, we've and been so there good. twice and we're gonna head back there this morning again. So yeah, definitely check that out too when you're in Exmouth. It's, yeah, it's good. It's good. But anyway, we'll leave it here and um, tune in for the next video. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Give Cheers. us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed traveling with us and we'll see you in the next one. Everyone. Always in bloom for